Hey guys, nice to see you again. This week, I want to talk about an AutoCAD challenge exercise. This is from AutoCAD Ball and this is called Gauge Design. This is a quick exercise for you to learn creative use of AutoCAD command and construction technique. I think this exercise is more suitable for CAD user who use CAD for some time. So I give you a warning here. It might be quite difficult for AutoCAD beginner and you might fall asleep. Just be careful. Let's start. So AutoCAD Bot is a wonderful website for you to learn AutoCAD skills. Be sure to check this out. In 2016, they post an AutoCAD challenge exercise. The idea is you need to draw the place of the frame of the fans. It looks easy, but it's actually quite difficult. After the post, there are many answers. And Mr. Dito posts four of the answers. And I'm quite interested with the idea. So I learned the four method post. And I'm thinking that if I can create my own method, then I will create a video for it. And because I created a completely different method, so I post this video. Let's start. There are four different methods. Anai, using the anai command, using rotate by reference, tangent with circle, at the middle and at the corner and also this is the one I create rotate copy and quick calculator just like before I suggest you try it yourself before you watch the answer okay I assume you already did let's start with the first one anai this is a method using the anai command Maybe some student not familiar with the anai command, so I show you quick what it is. For example, I have an object here, and then I have another object. Okay, the idea is I want to rotate this object so that it is anai with this rectangle here, but at the same time. I want it to be moved to the right position. So using a nine command, it allows you to rotate an object, move it to the right position, and even scale it up or down if you want. So let's try. AL is the shortcut, a nine. Spacebar, select the object, spacebar. The idea is it asks you for the source point first source point. If this is the first source point, this is the first destination point, this object will move to here. And then this is the second source point, second destination point. You see from these two assignments, you can see it will somehow rotate and align. And then now AutoCAD asks you for the third point. That is for 3D. So just press space bar to accept continue and then it asks you to want to scale this up or down if no it will just rotate and align okay now work the same here the idea is first i will draw this place in the middle and then i will rotate to the right angle but how to draw this space? Look at this here. Look at the answer to go back to the question. It's easier. So for example, if you draw a circle, start from this corner here and this M here, you can see this circle radius is the same as the diagonal of the rectangle. Think of this. If I rotate this thing, You can see the diagonal is always touching the circle. How about this? If the rectangle is horizontal, 
you see you can actually draw the size of that bay see so the idea is this let's start now first I will draw a circle start from this pawn and this is the corner pawn and then I will draw a rectangle start from this corner and then I touch it move it over here and move away you can see the green course so this is the AutoCAD tracking and then the tracking intersect with the circle so I get the size of the bay now I will use a nine command AL spacebar L spacebar to select the last object spacebar now it asks me for first source point the first source point is here the first destination point also here doesn't change now for the second source point the second source point is the diagonal point corresponding to this corner the diagonal point here and the destination point will be the diagonal point here and spacebar continue no need to scale up or down by pressing spacebar you see it will rotate and put it in the right place okay so this is the first one the second one the first part is the same first you draw a circle and the corner here and draw the rectangle click it and touch it and move along and click that okay now by using rotate by reference we can rotate it to the right position first RO spacebar L for the last object spacebar and this is the base point click it and then type R for reference and reference angle original angle is from the base here to the corner point here so the diagonal and final angle is here okay so that's the the second method the third method is draw a circle in the middle I actually like this method first you draw a line the diagonal line here and draw a circle in the middle the circle size is half the thickness which is 20 but why take a look at here first you see if you draw a circle in the middle of this diagonal line you can see with the diameter the same as 40 you can see the size of the bay start from this point and tangent to the circle see and the other one start from that point and tangent to the circle okay. so I draw a circle and then 9 from this point and TAN spacebar and click so I tangent and then I do offset O spacebar 40 spacebar select this 9 and move it down click spacebar finish now I will extend it EX spacebar twice and then click these two nine you see it extend to the right position okay so this is another method of drawing the diagonal okay finally you would like to trim it okay this one this is another way which is you draw a circle start from this center and move it down so the radius of the circle is the same as the width of the frame which is 40 take a look at here if you draw a circle center and base point you can see this line actually touching the circle start from this corner the other one will just be offset of 40 so 9 click this point and TAN spacebar and click spacebar and then O spacebar 40 and click and click spacebar finish 
Now you can erase the circle and trim away the extra line. Okay, this is another method. Next, let's take a look at the method I think of myself. Because I like mathematics, I'm using some calculation. But you can see this is very interesting and you can use AutoCAD to do it for you. Take a look. The idea is I can easily draw one diagonal line. You see, from here to there. If I can draw the other diagonal line, then I will be able to draw the rectangle easily. And you can see the other diagonal line is just a rotation of some angle. How to calculate this angle? Take a look at some high school mathematics now. You see, this is the sine theta. Sine theta equals to A divided by H. Okay? And so the angle will be as sine A over H. Now, this particular angle here actually is two times the size of this. With this simple map, now it is easy to rotate by using the quick calculator. A wonderful calculator inside AutoCAD. QC is the shortcut. QC space bar. Okay. So to start with, I will type the A. A, I know the width of the wood, which is 40. So I type 40. And then divide by the length of the diagonal. What's the length of diagonal? We can easily get it by using the distance here. Distance, and then click from this point to that point. You see, automatically, AutoCAD put that length inside. Now I will select the arc sign here. So you see, the angle is calculated. Now I will multiply by 2. And then result will be this number. Now how to use it? To use it, all you need to do is while running a command, you paste it with this button. So for example here, RO rotate, select this object, the diagonal spacebar, click the middle point as the base point of rotation, and then make sure you type C for rotate copy. Now you see, I want to rotate in this direction. So I will paste the result and then add a minus in front and then enter. Okay, so you can see after calculation, you can paste it into your command. Now I have the diagonal 9. I will use poly 9, PL, Start from this endpoint to that endpoint, and then to this endpoint, and then C for codes. And now I can erase these two diagonal lines. Okay, and get the result. As you can see, there are different ways to solve a problem in AutoCAD. So when you use AutoCAD, you must be shapeless, formless, like water. Learn different skills from different people and create your own style to truly express yourself. Be water, my friend, as quote from Grandmaster Boosley. Bye-bye.